17 days until Christmas. Good morning, Stanford. morning everyone welcome back it's thursday another day to rule the world so this morning i set my alarm for nine and then i woke up and i was like i need like a little more sleep because i was having a bad dream so i set my alarm for 9 15 and then i turned it off and decided to close my eyes just a little bit longer and then i didn't wake up until 10. so much for trying to reset my body clock but that's okay it's about 11 35 right now so in about 15 minutes i am heading downtown to meet my friend Alex. Alex for lunch and I think we're gonna go get Mexican food which I'm very excited for. Hello Stanford. Once I finally did wake up this morning, got up and did a nice 15 minute meditation and I did a 30 minute full moon yoga flow with my girl yoga with Cassandra. My body is super stiff, have not had a consistent movement routine in a hot sec. I'm excited to get back into that. That's something that I'm really trying to prioritize for this time where I'm not having a regular work schedule. So anyways, I just woke up, made my tea, had a little breakfast and then realized I was dumb because I was literally about to walk and eat lunch so I ate my toast and one of my sausages and I saved the other two. These first maybe three weeks after I bleached my hair I never really know how to style it because I feel like it needs more depth that I get from my roots. I don't know. We'll see what I can come up with. Do a little sunscreen action after lunch with Alex. I think I'm gonna walk up to the New York Public Library for the performing arts. Head up and edit my vlog there. I think being out of the house more during the day will be good for me. And they have a lot of windows, so I'll be in some natural light too. I would go to a coffee shop, but the thing about the winter is to go out and about, you have to pay for stuff to sit inside. I just wanna sit somewhere for free. That's why I love the summer, because you can just go sit in the park, read your book. So that is the one thing about New York in the winter. You can't just go sit somewhere if you want to be outside because your apartment doesn't get natural light. Okay, I don't know if this is how the girls are doing these barrettes these days, but I have these fun barrettes. This one's a crown, this one's a star that my friend Anna Maria gave me. This part of my hair is a little puffy in comparison to my roots. Oh no, I just did something horribly wrong. I might change it up. Certified, approved tacos. Oh yes. Eating this one. Alex is speaking. Wow, it's like being air one. So I speak to the trees, but the trees have no tongues. Hello. It's 2.15. My time with Alex was lovely. We got some tacos. I got a donut, but Alex is um, trying not to eat sugar. And then we went to a Korean beauty store. I'm heading back to Midtown. I'm trying to avoid populated streets, but it's hard at this time of day. And in this section of the city. It's been nice to walk around outside during the daylight hours. Yeah, I'm getting my steps in today. Feels good to be out and about. Talk to you later. Oh, and I have the leftovers. Yay. Went and picked up my editing supplies from home. Walked myself on up to Lincoln Center. And I'm gonna go chill in the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts. Edit my vlog. Statue thing is here. And there's people in it now. to be honest maybe an hour ago truly have no idea no actually i think it was 3 33 when i got here it was i've been here an hour and a half just finished editing and exporting and my computer's at 22 percent battery and there's no obvious outlet anywhere so i'm just gonna walk home and do my uploading which is fine because i'm getting a little hungry so i'll just have a snack while that's happening yay the vlog is edited. Can't believe that was already day seven. It's literally the 8th of December. Wild how time works. Um, there's a cute little Christmas tree over there, which is fun. There's really nothing like being in New York City at night. Look how pretty Lincoln Center is in the buildings. So lovely. As I was leaving the library, a person walked by with very cute yellow 
overalls. They were a little over for me and someone walked by them. And this man who walked by yellow overall homie said, may I just compliment you on your something something that I didn't hear and your sophisticated sartorial piece. And I was like, that was a weird thing to say to someone. I wonder if they know each other. A, B, what does sartorial mean? So I Googled it. It means like a tailored piece. So was that an outfit compliment? Because if so, big vocab words, baby. Big vocab words. Also look. Yay. This is the David Geffen Hall, which is open now. The Met Opera right behind me. And this is where the ballet happens. Ballet. I really want to see the Nutcracker. That's a New York bucket list for sure. I'm walking back home to upload the vlog, to eat something, generally unwind for the day. My goal tonight is to go to bed before midnight. Because last night I went to bed around 12.30, which is why I didn't wake up till 10. Came home two and a half hours ago, 7.30. Nine, and sat right here and stayed here until now because I was finishing my book. All good people here. It was good. The ending was very abrupt. Yeah, it just ended. And the mystery was solved, but then there was some action that you were like, what? What? I don't know. I, I didn't, I liked the story. I loved the way it was written and the two timelines were weaved together. The ending didn't do it for me. Now I am watching Michelle Reed's video about her experience going off of the birth control pill. Boy oh boy do I wish that was me. But your girl does not want a child. The pill it is. I had a couple snacks. Mostly I just need to chug a bunch of water so. This video is 30 minutes long. My goal is to drink this by the end of the video. 32 ounces baby. Locked and loaded. This is gonna be my palate cleanser. I might start the new Gossip Girl season or I might start another book. For now, let's go Michelle. P.S. I love Michelle Reed. She's a little Jesus-y, which isn't really my thing. Honestly, a lot of the YouTubers that I got really into in middle school and high school ended up being religious, but it's because when I followed them, they were just like beauty fashion bloggers. But now that influencing is more of a thing, talking about their lives and they, a lot of them are religious and I'm just like, oh, here are some things um, that I don't resonate with that she boasts about, but I just think she's a cool gal and I've been following her for probably 10 years at this point. Yeah, let's go Michelle. 